What we have here is that on a normal day is that this is our police uh, utility interceptor. This is the vehicle that we're pulling offline uh, starting today that will be uh, fully transitioned through the weekend uh, with Monday being our day that we hope that uh, we're able to uh, uh, pull all the utility interceptors off the street. Uh, as you know is that patrol officers uh, hit the street with with certain types of equipment. All this equipment needs to be pulled out of this particular vehicle. Uh, in the back, you can see our fire extinguishers, our vest, our flares, our stop sticks that are used in our pursuits. And then when we look in the front of the vehicle, you can see the cones that we have in each of the vehicles. And of course, we have lots of the technology. About half of the cost of the car is all the extra equipment and the technology that goes in the car. So we, we're going through a process to pull uh, most of this equipment out of the cars. Uh, the vehicle that you that I have to my right here is one that we've already pulled most of the equipment out other than the technology. And what, what you have over here behind me is a whole line of cars that have already, most of the equipment has been pulled, uh, as well as uh, beyond there is some of the, what we call our sedan models uh, that we talked about that may not be black and white, but they are uh, covert type cars that are pursuit rated. Uh, one thing that I want to say is that um, several years back when he, all the departments around the country are trying to uh, be prepared for any type of incident that they're faced with, is uh, we made a decision to uh, buy most of our vehicles that are pursuit rated. So our uh, personnel that are offline as well on the front lines have vehicles that are pursuit rated. If we would not have done that, we could not have pulled this off to be able to transition those vehicles uh, to a frontline capacity.